When is the last time you went outside of your comfort zone and you did something that was really difficult for you to do, but you felt like God was telling you to do it? Let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. It happened to me the other day. There's a guy at my health club. He was a former Golden Gloves boxer, just a tough guy. I'm going to call him Charlie. Charlie is now in his late 70s, maybe almost 80, and he's really developed some health problems. He's kind of scrunched down. He can't lift his head up. He has to carry an oxygen tank with him, and yet he still trains people at the gym. But every movement for him is so difficult, and I heard him the other day in the health club, in the locker room, and he was just, you know, struggling to just get changed, and every movement required a lot of effort and you could hear his heavy breathing. And so I went over to him and I said, Charlie, is there something I can help you with? And he's a very prideful guy. And he said, no, no, Dan, I'm good. And then he looked at me and said, but I really appreciate you asking. Now I've known this guy for a long time. And after I did that and I was driving home, I was thinking, you know, I need to talk to him about the Lord. I don't know if he knows Jesus. So that's my next thing that I need to do. And sometimes that's not an easy thing to do. But I'm going to say, hey, Charlie, can I buy you a cup of coffee? Let's sit. Let's talk. Well, Jesus did things that nobody else wanted to do. He did difficult things. And in his day, anyone who was a leper, who had leprosy, was just cast out of society. I mean, nobody touched them. They were put in their own leper colonies and pretty much left alone. But in Matthew chapter 8, the first three verses we read about Jesus, it says, when he came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. That's something that most people would never do. But he touched him and he said, I am willing, be clean. Immediately he was cured of his leprosy. Just imagine, maybe we can't cure someone of leprosy, but maybe we can cure a broken heart. Maybe we can give hope to someone who's lost hope. Maybe we can show love to someone who feels unloved today. You know, it's God working through us. There's a song by Christian artist, And he said he's complaining about all the things. He sees people who are hurting and he sees wars breaking out. He says, God, do something. And God said, I did. I created you. So he created you to do great things. But sometimes we need to step out of our comfort zone and help others. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to be bold in our witness for you and to be willing to help even when it's not convenient. We ask It all in thy name, and I ask you to bless everyone who's watching this video today. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.